Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hasha Ali Khan. So far, 22 problems have completed on partnership accounts one. In this video, 23rd problem and this is the last problem on retirement. Next two problems will solve on death of the partner. What are the adjustments to be made on the death of a partner? But this problem is a lengthy problem because in this problem we are uh, seeing two situations. First a situation where uh, we, are ch we are changing the values of assets and liability. And second case we are not changing the assets and liabilities. So these two situations we are going to cover up in this uh, problem and this problem is entirely different. So if you want the perfect knowledge watch till the end of the video. Don't skip in between. Apart from that you must have the basic knowledge about these uh, partnership accounts. So I suggest you don't miss the theory videos. So if you have not watched go to the playlist of my channel select the subject advanced accounting new. Select the videos of partnership starting theory videos be perfect about the concept then you can understand these problems so before starting the 23rd problem i expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which i have given in the link under my description always keep it ready without having the problem you cannot understand my lecture take the screenshot of the points then i'll explain every point Now, see the 23rd problem, problem number 23. X, Y and Z were partners sharing profits in the ratio of 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 respectively. The balance sheet of the firm at th on 31st December 2005 was given. Sundry creditors, 20,000. Reserve fund, 16,000. Remember, reserve fund should be distributed among all the partners at the time of retirement. Then capital accounts are given X 30,000, Y 20,000, Z 15,000. Cash at bank 2,000, debtors 22,800, less provision 1,800. Already existing provision 1,800. Stock motor vehicle plan and machinery building. Y retires on that date subject to the following conditions. Here three partners are there X, Y, Z. Y is retiring and continuing partners are X and Z. Now, what are the terms? Goodwill of the firm to be valued 20,000. The complete value of the whole firm, goodwill of the whole firm is 20,000. But we have to calculate what is the share of goodwill of the retiring partner. Plant and machinery to be depreciated by 10% and motor van by 20%. Stock and building to be appreciated by 20%. Provision for doubtful debts to be increased by 1,000. So already existing provision 1,800. Now we have to increase by 1,000 more. So entry will be revaluation account debit to provision for doubtful debts 1,000. Then uh, liability for workman compensation to the extent of 500 is to be brought into account. Earlier there was no liability. On the liability side there was no provision for workman compensation. But now we have to bring it into account a new liability workman compensation fund. So for this a new liability is created. So entry will be revaluation account debit to workman compensation fund. Fine. It was agreed that X and Z will share profits in future in the ratio of 3 fifth and 2 fifth. In this problem old ratio and new ratio both are given. So we have to calculate the gaining ratio. The goodwill will be adjusted in the gaining ratio. Pass the journal entries and prepare balance sheet when the change in the values is to be recorded in the books and second when the assets and liability are to continue to appear at the old figures. So two different situations are there. First we'll take up the case one, situation one where we have to change the value of assets and liability how we are doing in the previous problems exactly similar. So first of all we'll find out the gaining ratio. Since old ratio and new ratio both are given, so we need to calculate gaining ratio. Old ratio of x, y, z, 1 by 2 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 4. Denominator is 4, but here denominator is 2. So make it 4, 
by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2. So instead of writing 1 by 2, we can take 2 by 4. So 2 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, denominators are same. So ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 1. That is the old ratio between x, y and z. New ratio of x and z is given in the last line 3 is to 2. So x is 3 by 5 and z is 2 by 5. Now gaining ratio formula is new ratio minus old ratio. So for x, the new ratio is 3 by 5 and the old ratio was 2 by 4. So if you take the LCM 5 for the 20, LCM is 20. So 20 how many cut times cuts 5? 5 how many times cuts 20? 4 times. 4 into 3, 12. Similarly, how many times 4 cuts 20? 5 times. 5 into 2, 10. So 12 minus 10, 2 by 20. That is the gaining ratio of x. Similarly, gaining ratio of z. The new ratio is 2 by 5. And old ratio was 1 by 4. So LCM 5 4 is 20. How many times uh, 5 will cut 20? 4 times. 4 to the 8. 4 how many times cuts 20? 5 times. 5 into 1 is 5. So 3 by 20. So finally the gaining ratio is 2 is to 3. 2 by 5 and 3 by 5. That is the gaining ratio between X and Z. So Y's share of goodwill. The total goodwill of the firm is 20,000 and the Y's share is 1 by 4. So 20,000 into 1 by 4, it comes to 5,000. The share of goodwill of retiring partner Y is 5,000, right? And this 5,000 will be shared by X and Z in the gaining ratio that is 2 is to 3. So it is to be written off in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So X 5,000 into 2 by 5. 2000 z 5000 into 3 by 5 3000 basic working notes completed now we'll come to the journal entries regarding revaluation the goodwill we have completed plant and machinery to be depreciated by 10 percent and motor van by 20 percent when we have to depreciate uh, revaluation account debit plant account credit and uh, motor van account credit so here revaluation account debit Plant and machinery and motor vehicle. Plant and machinery by 10%. So what is the book value of plant and machinery? 30,000. 10% of 30,000 is 3,000. So plant and machinery, 3,000 we have credited. Similarly, motor van by 20%. Actually, motor vehicle value 10,000 is given. So 20% of 10,000 is 2,000. So motor vehicle, 2,000. And stock and building to be appreciated by 20%. Increase. So entry will be stock account debit, uh, then building account debit to revaluation. So here stock account debit, building account debit to revaluation. How much? 20% of stock. 20,000 into 20%. 4,000. Similarly building. Building book value is 18,000. 18,000 into 20%. 3600 here 3600 so total 7600 here being the stock and building appreciated narration you can give being the stock and building appreciated there provision for doubtful debts is to be increased by 1000 earlier 1800 already there still we have to increase by 1000 entry revaluation account debit to provision for doubtful debts 1000 so provision for doubtful debts, 1,000. Liability for compensation to the extent of 5,000 is to be brought into account. So compensation payable, that's a new liability. Entry will be revaluation account debit, compensation payable, credit. So here compensation payable, credit, 500. Or all the entries, all the assets are revalued. Now, take the total, it will come to 6,500. Now actually when we prepare revaluation account, if credit side is more, there is a profit. If debit side is more, there is a loss. So here you can see revaluation account is credited by 7600. Here revaluation account is debited by 6500. So debit side is less, credit side is more. So there is a profit on realization. 
How much profit? 7,600 minus 6,500. 1,100 is the profit on revaluation. This profit will be shared by all the partners in the old ratio. So entry will be revaluation account debit 1100 to X capital to Y capital to Z capital in the old ratio 2 is to 1 is to 1 2 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 so how much 550 that means 1100 into 2 by 4 1100 into 1 by 4 275 then 1100 into 1 by 4 275 being the profit on revaluation shared by all partners now reserve fund so at the time of retirement, if any reserve is there, that will be distributed. Reserve fund amount is 16,000. So entry will be reserve fund account debit to X capital to Y capital to Z cap. In the old ratio, 2 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. So 8,000, 4,000, 4,000. Being the reserve fund shared by all the partners. Now goodwill. Goodwill amount actually 5,000 is due to Y. So Y's capital account is credited by 5000 and the continuing partner x and z will be debited by 2000 and 3000 so entry will be x capital account debit 2000 z capital account debit 3000 to y's capital 5000 here it is x capital 2000 y z capital 3000 y capital 5000 being the goodwill adjusted in partners capital accounts lastly the amount due to the retiring partner Y should be transferred to his loan account. So entry will be Y's capital account debit to Y's loan account. But the amount we can get only after preparing capital account. We prepare capital account of all the partners X, Y and Z. So here this is the partner's capital account. The old balances are 30,000, 20,000, 15,000. So here by balance brought down 30,000, 20,000, 15,000. Now revaluation profit here in the entries you can see X capital, Y capital, Z capital credited for revaluation profit. So credit side revaluation profit 550, 275, 275. Reserve fund is also shared. All the three partners are credited. Reserve fund 8,000, 4,000 and 4,000. Right. Lastly goodwill. Goodwill account, Y's capital should be credited. So Y capital account credit side to uh, by X capital by Z capital 2000, 3000 total 5000. Now uh, individual X capital and Z capital should be debited. So debit side we have taken 2000 and 3000 to Y's capital. Over all the entries we have posted in the ledger, uh, ledger account that is capital account. Now we find what is the balance payable to the retiring partner Y. The total on the credit side of Y is 29,275. Credit side. Now debit side we don't have any amount. So 29,275 is the balancing figure. Y is loan account balancing figure. Amount due to the retiring partner Y is 29,275. And that is the entry I have taken here. Y's capital account debit to Y's loan account 29275 being the balance due to the retiring partner transferred to his loan account. Now we have to find out what is the balance in the continuing partner X and Z. For X partner uh, the credit side total is 38550. From 38550 minus 2000 36550 carried down and brought down. Now in the new balance sheet this capital will come 36,550 for X. For Z also credit side total 19,275 minus 3,000 16,275. These are the capital account balances after making all adjustments. Now we have to make the balance sheet. By seeing the old balance sheet we can convert it into new balance sheet. First sundry credit was 20,000 we have not changed. No entry was made for sundry creditors. The so same 20,000 will come. Apart from creditors, reserve fund. But already reserve fund is distributed. It will not come. But a new liability will come regarding compensation payable. Earlier it was not there. We have brought into books. So compensation payable 500. 
Apart from that, the amount due to the retiring partner, that is Y's loan account. So Y's loan account 29,275. All liabilities are over. Now capital account of X and Z, X 36,550 and Z is 16,275. Liability side completed. Now we'll come to the asset side. First cash at bank. Check is there any entry in the bank account is involved in any entry? No bank account is involved in any adjustment. So same bank account balance will come 2000. No change. Sundry debtors are 22800. So 22800 will remain same. But earlier the provision was 1800. Now we have increased the provision by 1000 more. So 1800 plus 1000. 2800. So 2800 provision will deduct 20,000. Right. Similarly, stock. Stock was 20,000, but we have increased the stock. Where is that stock? Huh, stock increased by 4,000. Stock was debited by 4,000. So 20,000 plus 4,000, 24,000. Motor vehicle. Motor vehicle book value was 10,000, but motor vehicle was depreciated. Here, motor vehicle was depreciated by 2,000. So 10,000 minus 2,000, 8,000. Plant and machinery. Plant and machinery was depreciated by 10%. So 30,000 minus 3,000, 27,000. Lastly, building. Building actually 18,000. But we have increased, appreciate, appreciated the value of building, 3,600. So 18,000 plus 3,600, it comes to 21,600. Over. All the values we have changed. Now the total on the liability side 102600. Here also 102600. Balance sheet tight. But we have considered the first case, which is the first case here. See, changes in the values are to be recorded in the books. Whatever changes we made, all the changes are recorded and it is reflected in the balance sheet. This is the first case. Now in the second case, do not make the changes in the balance sheet. Same values should appear. But we have to adjust the values. We have to adjust the values. But ultimately, the balance sheet values should not change. That is case 2. That is a different point. So, after completing this case 1, now we will start case 2. When the assets and liability are to continue to appear at their old figures. That means the figures should not be changed in the new balance sheet. In that case, we have to make memorandum revaluation account. This actually it is not an account. It's a statement. In this memorandum revaluation account, we take the appreciated value of assets on the credit side, right hand side. Actually, it is not an account. It's a statement. That's why we call it as right side and left side. So increase in the value of assets. In the problem it is given, uh, plant and the machinery are to be depreciated by 10% and motor van by 20%. Stock and building are to be appreciated by 20%. Increase in the value of stock and building. So here stock and building appreciated. Similarly, decrease in the value of assets, plant and machinery and motor vehicle value are to be depreciated by 10%, 20%. So 10% of uh, plant and machinery, 20% of motor van, we get 3000, 2000. Apart from that provision for doubtful debts to be increased by 1000. So 1000 rupees provision has to be increased. That will be taken on debit side, left hand side. Similarly, a new liability has to be brought into books. Liability for workman compensation to the extent of 500 is to be brought into account. A new liability has to be brought into account. The liability workman compensation fund. A new liability has to be taken. So the credit side is 4000 plus 3600, 7600. From 7600 minus 3000 minus 2000 minus 1000 minus 500. The profit on revaluation is 1100. This 1100 profit on revaluation will be distributed between the partners in the old ratio. The old ratio is 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 given in the problem. So 1 by 2 of 1100, 
550. 1 by 4 of 1100, 275, 270. Now this profit on revaluation will be shared by all the partners X, Y, Z in the old profit sharing ratio. Now we continue this revaluation account by reversing the procedure. That means whatever debit side, left hand side we have taken, now we take it on the right side. A reversal of entries. When these reversal of entries are needed, when the old values are to be kept intact, the value of assets and liabilities are not to be changed. Then only we need reversal of entries. So reversal of entries on debit side, 3000 plus 2000 plus 1000, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6500. So here I have taken 6500. Credit side, the values of credit side will take it on the debit side, reversal of credit entries. So 7600. Now you can see debit side 7600 and credit side 6500. The difference is 1100. This 1100 will be borne by the continuing partners. Y is retiring. So continuing partners are X and Z. So here X capital, Z capital. So how much in the new profit sharing ratio, last line it is given, the new ratio will be 3 by 5, 2 by 5. So 1100 into 3 by 5, 660. 1100 into 2 by 5, 440. That's all. So this memorandum revaluation account is required whenever the value of assets and liability are not to be changed. We have to keep it intact. Now we pass the gerundries. The first general entry is regarding reserve fund. Actually, originally reserve fund was 16,000. At the time of uh, retirement, at the time of retirement of Y, this uh, general reserve, share of general reserve of retiring partner. So what is the share of Y? It is 1 by 4. So 16,000 into 1 by 4 is 4,000. So 4,000 is the share of reserve fund of the retiring partner Y. This will be adjusted in the partner's capital account. The retiring partner's capital account should be credited and the continuing partner's capital account should be debited. So excess capital account debit, Z capital account debit to Y's capital account. This Y is the retiring partner. His capital is credited by 4,000 share of reserve fund and this will be shared by the continuing partners in the new ratio 3 by 5 2 by 5 so 4000 into 3 by 5 2400 4000 into 2 by 5 2005 here narration being the share of reserve fund of the retiring partner adjusted in the capital accounts now next one is goodwill goodwill of the firm to be valued 20000 so first we raise the goodwill and then we write off the goodwill when we raise the goodwill, goodwill account debit to X capital, to Y capital, to Z capital in the old profit sharing ratio. The goodwill 20,000 debited. Excess capital half, 1 by 2, 10,000. Y capital and Z capital, 1 by 4, that is 5,000, 5,000. Being the goodwill raised and shared by all partners in the old profit sharing ratio. Now this goodwill will be written off. Because it is given in the problem that the assets and liability should continue in the same values. We should not change the assets and liability. That's why we are taking excess capital account debit, Z capital account debit to goodwill. In this entry, goodwill account is debited. Now goodwill account is credited. Now this goodwill will be shared by continuing partners in the new profit sharing ratio. 3 by 5, 2 by 5. So 20,000 into 3 by 5, 12,000, 20,000 2 by 5, 8,000. Being the goodwill written off. Now goodwill will not appear in the new balance sheet. Next one is memorandum. In this memorandum revaluation, first we got profit, that 1100 profit. This 1100 profit is shared by all the partners. Entry will be memorandum revaluation account debit to excess capital, to Y capital, to Z capital, 550, 275, 270. So memorandum revaluation debit 1100 to X capital to Y capital to Z capital being the profit on revaluation shared by all the partners. Now we have to reverse it. That means whatever profit we got 1100 that we have to reverse it back 
so here memorandum revaluation was de debited now we credit the memorandum revaluation account 1100 and we have to debit the continuing partners x and z in the new profit sharing ratio 3 by 5 2 by 5 so x capital account debit 660 z capital account debit 440 memorandum revaluation account 11 being the profit on revaluation being the loss on revaluation shared by continuing partners in the new profit sharing ratio last entry the amount due to the retiring partner y should be transferred to the loan account so y's capital account debit to y's loan account by passing this entry y's capital account will get closed no more y will no more be a partner he is an outsider so the amount due how we got the amount 29275 by preparing capital accounts after preparing capital account we will get how much is the amount due to the retiring partner narration being the amount due to the retiring partner y transferred to his loan account that's all these are the entries now we make the capital account then we make the balance sheet capital account Three columns X, Y, Z on debit side, three columns on credit side. First, we take the opening balance. By balance brought down 30,000, 20,000, 15,000. That is given in the balance sheet. In the balance sheet, it is given 30,000, 20,000, 15,000. Balance brought down. Now we post the entries. The first entry is X capital account debit, Y capital, Z capital account debit, Y capital account credit. So, credit side. Y's capital account should be credited to credit side. X capital 2400, Z capital 1600. So Y capital is credited. Now X capital and Z capital should be debited. The debit side to Y's capital, X column 2400, Z column 1600. First entry posted. Now second entry, goodwill account debit to X, Y, Z. So all the three partners capital account should be credited by goodwill. So here by goodwill. 10,000, 5,000, 5,000. This entry one. Next X capital debit, Z capital debit and goodwill account should be credited. So this X and Z debited. So debit side to goodwill. 12,000, 8,000. This is 12,000, 8,000. Next is memorandum revaluation debit. All partners credit. So credit side memorandum revaluation 550, 275, 275. This entry posted. Now this entry. X capital account debit, Z capital account debit, revaluation account credit. So debit side memorandum revaluation 660 and 440. That's all. All the entries we have posted. Now we have to find out the balancing figure in retiring partner's capital. Who is the retiring partner? Why? So Y's capital account credit side, if you take the total 29,275, same 29,275 on debit side and this 29,275 is transferred to his loan account, to Y's loan account balancing figure. And that 29,275 I have taken here in the entries. Next, now X capital credit side total 40,550. From 4550 minus 2400 minus 12000 minus 660, 25490 is the balance carried down. This is the balancing figure. That means after making all adjustments, excess capital will be 25490. Same is the case for Z capital. Credit side Z total 20275. 2275 minus 1600 minus 8000 minus 440, 10,235. 10,235 is the closing. Uh, capital balance of Z. Now we can make the balance sheet. In the balance sheet, the old balance sheet we will see. The old balance sheet was sundry credit 60 or uh, 20,000. We have not made any change. So same 20,000. Reserve fund 16,000. Same reserve fund 16,000. Because we are not changing the balance sheet, then capital accounts, wise loan account. In the old balance sheet, Y is loan was not there. Y was the partner. But right now, Y is no more a partner. His uh, capital account is transferred to loan account. Y is loan account 29,275. Now, capital account of X and Z. X capital 25,490 and Z capital 10,235. Liabilities completed. Now, we'll come to the asset side. 
same values we are not required to change the value of assets and liabilities so cash at bank 2000 same cash at bank 2000 debtors are 20 to 800 less provision 1800 21000 same 20 to 800 minus 1800 21000 stock value 20000 same motor vehicle 10000 same plant and machinery 30000 building 18000 no change in the assets and liability the total is 1 lakh 1000 here also 1 lakh 1000 that's all so in this problem we have seen both the cases when assets and liabilities are to be changed and when assets and liabilities are not to be changed so both i have explained completely in detail so if you want the perfect command on this topic watch the video not once twice thrice you watch it and maintain the running notes while listening the lecture always keep a notebook calculator pen ready while watching the video immediately you should note it down the points which i'm explaining then only you can be able to remember for a long period otherwise you'll forget it so, so far we have completed 23 problems inshallah in the next video we'll start the next problem